Hi, Gregory Giannacobo. In this short video, I want to just encourage you. You have something about you that nobody else has. You have a special seed inside of you, a special gift, a special talent. Now, you probably know that, but you're just afraid or too insecure to talk about it. That's okay. We don't need everybody bragging about everything they can do. But you have something special inside of you that if you don't develop it and share it with others, one day it's going to be lost. That day's going to come. So I just encourage you to... Uh, not blame things. I mean, I talk to a lot of people who say, well, I was going to do this, but the economy was bad, or I was going to do this, but I was short of money, or when I get more money, I'm going to do this. I mean, take a look at the housing market. I'm talking about the United States. The housing market, when the economy crashed in 2008, 2009 and 10, things were cheap. They were sometimes half price, especially office buildings. and where Things were just absolutely at a low cost. And people said, oh, Now's not the time now. Do you know that building was a, it's half price of what it was last year? Can you imagine? The world's falling apart. What are you going to do? So they didn't want to buy anything because it was really cheap because the economy was bad. And now the market's going up because a lot of people are buying. And now people are saying, oh, I wouldn't buy now. Those prices have gone up so much. There's probably a crash around the corner. And I'm not talking about if there is or isn't a crash coming. I'm just saying that there's always somebody that's going to tell you it's not a right. And sometimes that person's you. There's always a time when people say, oh, it's not a good time now. It's not a good time now. Oh, it used to be a good time or it's not a good, it'll be a better time later on. Listen, you have something inside of you that you can always monopolize. You can actually build on it and create something, create money, create a side income. Maybe you're going to create an empire out of it because you know what? The economy doesn't influence everything. In fact, when the economy is down, people spend more money on education because they want to get a new skill and learn. And when the economy is up, people spend more money on education because they want to start something new. You know, a tree... A seed, like a walnut, has a seed inside. You plant that, and what's the tree is inside that seed. You're like your talent is inside of you. A tree doesn't care if you plant it in a good economy or a bad economy. You plant a tree, you plant a seed or a seedling or a walnut, it's going to grow regardless of what the economy is. And that's what I say about the seed that's inside of you. The greatness that you have inside of you that you can bring out, just don't put blinders on. Don't worry about what the economy is doing right now. I don't mean mortgage your house to the hilt and invest all the money in some new crazy idea. I'm just saying the economy doesn't really influence as much as you think it influences. Other people's opinion doesn't influence you as much as you think you let it influence you. So think about that tree. You plant a tree in a good economy or a bad economy, that tree's going to grow. You know what else is something about trees? Trees that have been around 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and I guess in California there's some that have been there a couple hundred years. Do you know how many economies they've seen go up and down? And there's still a tree. So whether the economy goes good or bad, you're still going to be you. Nobody can take from you that talent you have inside of you, that gift, that gift for public speaking. Some people just are born with it. Some people have to learn it. That talent for art. Again, some people are naturals at it. I saw a video about a six-year-old girl in, somewhere in Europe. It also, there was one in, I think there was one in Poland and one in, in the UK. And she started at six years old painting these gloriously amazing, sophisticated paintings. Must have been inside her. Nobody taught her. You have something inside of you that somebody doesn't have to teach you about. You can make yourself better. You can learn more about it. But will you just take a few moments while you're driving or when it's quiet or when nobody in the house is making any noise? Start scrolling down some things you'd like to do. Because generally speaking, the gift that... Gunshots again. Uh, generally speaking, the gift that you have inside of you is also something that you like to do. So that's how you can kind of work backwards and find out what is your gift and what is your talent. What do you like to do? I mean, do you like visiting art museums because you like to paint? Do you like public speaking because you like to be around people? Do you, do you, are you an gregarious person? Um, are you a person that's really detailed and it really upsets you when things are not in order? When you start writing these things down that you like to do, you're going to find out it's going to lead you more or less into a set of conditions, the specifications of the kind of job that you'd like if you're going to go after a job or a career or the business you're going to make that's going to be your career. That's generally how people are. If you see somebody really successful at something, absolutely they're doing something they like to do. So if you find something you like to do and you pursue it, you can be more successful in that rather than if you said, oh, I'm going to do this. I don't like doing it, but there's money in it. That's a disaster. That's a recipe for disaster to think, oh, these spinners are selling so quickly. Let's start a company doing that. Do you know anything about spinners? No. Do you like spinners? Hate them. You're not going to be successful at it. I just uh, heard Gary Vee did an interview with a 13-year-old girl who started when she was 11 to make slime. And now they have 7,000 people coming to their... They must be doing millions a year. They have 7,000 people coming to their convention. They sell slime in 
great quantities online. Slime, that gooey stuff you mix with borax and glue, I guess. Um, there's a girl that's successful at age 13. She's making more money than you are. And why is she doing it? Her father's helping her, but because she really loved it. She said, this is really cool. I love this stuff. Find something you love. What's your slime? And don't let anybody talk you out of it, because that tree inside of you is going to grow in a good economy or a bad economy.